Hi, this is the last question now for the 2018 June Higher Maths Paper 2. Okay, question 19. All the other questions are on other videos. Okay, this is a non triangle trigonometry question. So, sine rule, cosine rule, possibly area. We'll see now when we read it. Okay, I've labelled the two sides from the question. Uh, that 11 goes all the way down there, look, because it's A to C. And the first one we've got to find is A to E. So if I put a sort of a little X there for now, and it's part of this big triangle here, look. And on that triangle, what we've got is two sides and an angle in between an included angle. And if you've got two sides and an included angle, it's the cosine rule. Okay. Now for the cosine rule, we want to do some relabeling here. The angle has to be capital A, so that means that X is little a. And then you've got a B and a C. It doesn't matter which way around they go. It should still work. And the cosine rule formula is that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So A squared equals 11 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 11 times cos 31. Now that comes out after you've done the square rooting as well. Okay, so little a equals, you should get 5.8 centimetres. Remember, you will have to square root at the end there to get from a squared to a. Okay, so I'll add that now to my diagram, that that is 5.8 centimetres. And then the second part of the question, the very last question on this paper actually, calculate the size of CED. Now CED is that angle there. Okay. What have we got this time? Well, it's the triangle that goes from uh, C to D to E, we haven't got a lot. Okay, we've got one side and one angle. And that's not going to be enough to use the cosine rule or the sine rule. But then you've got to wonder why there's a circle hanging around. Okay, now the circle must mean it's got circle theorems involved somehow, and it's the alternate segment rule that says that that angle up there is equal to that angle down there. So even though we've been asked to find CED, if we can find CAE, they are actually the same angle. Now using the big triangle, we can do that. Okay, so let's have a quick redraw. We've got 31 down in this corner. We've got 11 there. We've got 8 there. We've got 5.8 there, and that's the angle we're trying to find. And we've got pairs. So the 5.8 makes a pair with the 31, and x makes a pair with the 8. And when you've got pairs, it's going to be the sine rule. We're finding an angle, so we need angles on the top. So if we said that sine 31 over 5.8 is equal to sine x over 8. We don't need the 11 because that's not paired up with anything particularly useful. We need to bring the 8 over. So now we've got that 8 times sine 31 over 5.8 equals sine x. We want x on its own, so you'll have to do sine minus 1 afterwards as well. So if I write down that x equals the sine minus 1 of all of that stuff, 8 times sine 31 over 5.8, your final answer you should get the angle is 44.8 degrees. And so that's true for angle A up in the top left, 44.8 there. 44.8 there so I'm getting emails that's the thing there we go and that's the end of the 2018 June higher maths paper 2